Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today, once again, we're doing an unboxing video carrying on our October celebrations. Um, I think we're slowly working through the whole Orc range. Now this is another of the Build and Paint series um, by Revel, which is a mix of Revel and Games Workshop. Um, one thing I did notice that someone pointed out to me is that it says Series 1 at the top, so it does look like if it sold well, maybe they'd expand on it. I don't know if they have yet. Um, so far all I can find is a few of the Orc bits um, As I was saying you can get them on eBay or you can get them on Amazon This one came from eBay I think they work out at about $12.99 on Amazon I got it certainly for a lot less than that This kit is worth it alone in price for this Plastic Warboss This is the Plastic Warboss that came in the Black Reach set And it's absolutely gorgeous But anyway this box as you can see here comes with one Orc Warboss Five Orc Knobs one Death Copter and two Orc Boys were big shooters. Now, these are all from Assault on Black Reach, which was one of the best Games Workshop sets they've ever released. The models in it were fantastic. You got a good range. Uh, you got Dreadnought for the Space Marines, for goodness sake. It was fabulous. And then you get some barricades and some scenery bits. And then I'm assuming you'll also get some... Yeah, it says up there you get some paints and glues and things like that. And as I said, I've been giving the paints to my little lad. Um, so yeah, there's the Death Copter. There's the Orc Knobs. They're okay. They're a bit generic, but they get away. I tend to use these not as a unit of knobs, but I put them in with boys because they've still got that more generic -y boy look. Um, that I think sounded odd. But yeah, um, they make much better unit placeholders to give you a self an Orc Knob within that unit than they do as a standalone Orc Knob unit. Um, personally, I like a bit more customization, which is why I think the Orc Knob set is fantastic. You get the War Boss, as I said, and you get the big shooter, um, two of those. So let's bust this bad boy open. So as always, we're not going to do anything cool, like use a craft knife. We're all about trying to just rip that open ourselves. And I've kind of got into a bit of a groove now. It no longer takes two minutes of video time. So boom, back in shot. And as I said, I do apologise. I'm still being banished by my son, which is why we're a bit close today. Um, but it shouldn't matter once we get the models and stuff out. Um, but if you're massively bothered about the box art, just Google Space Orc Raiders Revel Games Workshop. And it'll come up with the box art, so you can have a look at it yourself. So, box to one side. We get the paints again. Um... You get a couple more paints this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. You also get that polystyrene cement. Now, I did say in the last video that I was going to use the polystyrene cement to build all the models and stuff. That didn't happen. And the reason that didn't happen is the stuff is rubbish. <laughs> um, as soon as you put the lid on and it pops, um, it obviously opens it up. As soon as this bends, it tears so it starts leaking out. So I end up not using it and it went in the bin. Um, so if you're buying it for the polystyrene cement, polystyrene cement's not that good. Um, spoiler warning. But yeah, you get the paints again. We will look at the colours this time because we didn't properly last time. Yellow. A red. A white. Kind of orky green. A very pale green. Um, a silver bolt gun metal style, and then a black. So as I said, I'm going to give these to my son, Harley, the, my oldest. Um, you get the same transfer sheet from last time. This is going to get filed exactly the same place as the last one did, which is under C for, well, crap, really, isn't it? Because um, I've got so many of those transfer sheets. Well, I've got so many of the proper Games Workshop ones. So you get your flying base. Obviously, specifically for the Death Copter. And we will come and look at this stuff in a second. You get all your bases. Now, these are a bit more loose than the last stuff. And that's absolutely fine. Uh, put the scenery to one side as well. Um, a big base for the War Boss himself. Um, a brush. And it's that same brush as we got last time. Which I actually found um, is really, really good for applying PVA to bases. And you get, as always, you get the obligatory... 20 adverts, you get building instructions, um, in which, now these are all not fully clip fit, but they're virtually clip fit, they all kind of plug together one way, you can't fail, um, but you do get instructions in case you absolutely need it, 
And if you do, I don't judge. Then we get this. What is this? So we get a very, very tiny little mat. Now, this gives you the starts of how to play because it shows you where you want to be placing your models. Um, and it's designed for all of them because you can see it's got the Orc War track there. It's got Orc Boy, Orc War. So it's, yeah, and on the other side, it's Space Marines. Um, it's not bad. It doesn't look like a game mat, actually, now I think about it. It looks like somewhere you would place your models just to take photos of them or whatever. Um, it's okay, nothing special. Um, can't complain, it was free. It wasn't listed as in something I thought I was going to get. So, we get three barrels. We get two tank traps. We get a gas canister. And we get one of these... Um, like a barricade, like with a ram. We used to have a load of those for Necromunda and Gorkamorka. These will get used. Obviously, we play Gaslands. Um, we play Necromunda. We play Gorkamorka. We play Kill Teams. All of this is good stuff. So, if you want in this box, twelve ninety nine, you do get some scenery with it. Um, and the scenery is usable in a lot of games. Obviously, it's going to be usable in 40k as well. Um, now... This is the main thing. This is the sprue. Now, I can't remember what the sprue looked like for Black Reach. I do think maybe this was one of the sprues and you got the five knobs, one death copter, the two big shooters and the war boss on. And maybe that's why you get these specifics in here. Um, I mean, it could have been produced as a special sprue. I don't know, but I vaguely recall. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look here. So you've got the war boss and the war boss himself is massive. And he comes with his big power claw and he comes with a twin linked shooter, as I recall. Um, and this awesome backpack. He's fantastic. He's such a big, big model. Look at the head on this guy. There he is. Right there. Super angry in the other part of the claw. You get the Death Copter itself here. Now, we only ever previously had the horrible metal Death Copter. So these plastic ones were absolutely fantastic. And I did know many Orc players who bought five or six Black Reaches just for all the Death Copters. Um, the detailing on them is really, really nice. Um, they also make really good bikes as well. If you cut this little foot bit off and you attach some wheels to it, they make really, really nice bikes. Um and that's just an extra way to get a bit of money, a bit of usage out of them. So these are the big shooters. And these are definitely the ones from Blackreach because you can see the plug-in spots um, in which the guns just plop in there. The backpacks go on. You can see that, as I said, these were Games Workshop's real first sort of foray into plug-in models, to my knowledge. Um, I could be mistaken, but I remember 4th edition... Came with Gene Steelers and Space Marines, and they weren't plug in. And the edition of Fantasy that came out before this was the one with dwarves and goblins, and they also weren't push fit. So it certainly was the first two player starter set with push fit, anyway. I don't know. They may have released some single kits, I can't recall. Um, and if you guys know, you can let me know in the comments. But So you get one knob there, another knob there, uh, you get one knob there. Uh, one knob there. Ah, oh, I must have missed him. So yeah, you get three there and you get one there and one there. And they each have an individual sort of looking head. That one I think is really stupid. I hate that thing on the top. I tend to cut that off and smooth out the head. Um, that one's awesome. Look at that. You filthy oomies, etc, etc. Um, and there's the big shooter heads. Um, I never go for the ones with plumage. I don't know why. It really bothers me. Um, and it's not because I don't like the idea of a hair squig. I really loved it. And in Gorkamorka, I thought it was fantastic. Love that head with the eye patch. And this head's really, really nice as well. Um, what I tended to do was I tended to put these heads on other models. Because um, I really, really like them. I love this Death Copter head. I use them for my bikers a lot as well. Um but yeah so this is what you get on the sprue there's obviously the arm of the war boss it's a nice little kit i mean as i said if you go on ebay you can pick up this war boss by himself for 10 pound and i think this kit as i said from amazon is something like 12.99 so for three pound extra you're getting a death copter which you can't get plastic death copters anywhere else anymore and um, you get five plastic oak knobs to either bolster up your normal units 
um, or to use the unit. So on, you get big shooter boys. Now, what's good about these is they are big shooter boys. You can't really do anything else with them without a lot of clipping and conversioning. But it does mean that when you buy a box of 11 boys, you can make those 11 boys up as normal boys. There's your big shooters to bulk out your unit. There's a war boss to bulk out your unit a bit more. So you go from 11, I mean, not war boss, knob. So you go 11, 12, 13. And if you can get your unit up to 20, then you can have another um, big shooter in. If it still works like that in 8th, I haven't checked. Um, but yeah, so you can bulk out your units pretty cheaply with this bad boy. Problem is, there was only a finite amount in the mid. It's not like Games Workshop. When these all sell, I don't think they're going to print anymore because you can't get them in most shops anymore. But eBay, Amazon, a couple of other little sites like that, you can pick these up dirt cheap. As I said, there's this one. There's the one we looked at the other day, which has the really old buggy. I think that's good value still, but a lot of people have told me they don't think it is. You know, it's objective or subjective. Um and I respect everybody's opinion on it, but I'm right in this occasion. Um, but no, this is a really, really good set. It gives you the scenery, the war boss, and loads of extra gubbins. If you're an orc player, um, and you definitely don't have that plastic war boss, I think it's a bit of a must. That's my opinion, though. One thing that obviously I want to know is what you guys think of it. Do you think that's great value for money? Have you still got your old Black Reach set? What do you think of that plastic war boss? Uh, what do you think of the plastic death copters? Are you enjoying October? You know, get a conversation flowing. Our comment sections have been quite busy recently and it's been really good. And if you look through them, you will notice that we try to reply to everybody. Even people who say negative comments will always address it, whether it be, you know, to defend our position or to say you're absolutely right. Um, you know, give us some help on how we can, you know, do better. Uh, so yeah, start a conversation down there. Try and keep it relevant, at least to the channel and this video. But thank you guys very much for watching. Please give us a like. It really does help the algorithms. Um, check out some of our videos, other videos, if it's the first time you've ever been to our channel. Maybe consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Like I said, we're only a small channel, 800 plus subscribers. So every little really does help. Um, and you will get notified when we put up new content. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for sitting through this video with me. Pray the dice gods and hope they smile upon you and have a good wah.